God of the Lord with you. And I desire that God speaks to us. I desire that God ministers to us as individuals. I therefore ask God. Same man me. Talk with me. Say manami. Talk with me, Lord. And I want us to sing that song privily. How can you lead us? Say manami. Say manami. I desire that you speak to me today. Oh Lord, I desire that you minister to me today. Say manami, buana. Say manami. Say manami. Say manami. Say manami. I, 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 we will, we will sing one stanza. Say manami buana. To taimba stanza moja tu. I, I, I had very powerful pack up praise and worship team. And they are coming forward. We stand and sing one stanza. Say. Say manami. Say. Everlasting Father. Yes. We are before your presence. Our utmost desire this morning is that you speak to us. Is that you speak to us? Is that you speak to everyone of us? Is that you minister unto each and every one of us? Take over, Lord, and speak to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to begin by asking whether in your life whether in your life you have experienced a situation where you felt hurt where you felt some pain where you felt some anchor Ukasikia asira fulani or certain by certain actions kwa kupitia matendo fulani maybe from someone whom you knew pengine kupitia mtu ambao ulikuwa unamjua maybe from somebody whom you relate ama ni mtu ambao una uhusiano maybe a friend labda iwe ni rafiki maybe a neighbor iwe ni jirani a colleague jamaa wa mahali mnafanya pamoja how did you react uli uli uli, uli kaje a situation that you something that you least expect happened to you how did you react in other words he appeared to have wronged you 
appeared to have disappointed you. He appeared to have let you down. How did you react? How did you handle that situation? How did you handle it? I know someone can tell me from that day I stopped communicating with that person. In fact, I blacklisted him. I blacklisted her. I am not even greeting him. <laughs> I am not even saying hi. I move away from that town. I move away from that estate. I decided to not have him around again. But I am having a very interesting example here. That in the book of Matthew chapter number 18. Peter had the same experience. Peter and I want us to go to the book of Matthew chapter number 18 verses number 21 and 22. This was Peter giving a story about his brother. Peter He was asking Jesus. Look at what he said. And the Bible says, then Peter came to him and say, Lord, how often shall I, shall my brother sin against me? I, and I forgive him. Up to seven times, after, and Jesus replied, I do not say to you si kuambi ata marasaba up to seven times ata marasaba but up to seventy times seven ata saba marasaba I want to speak this morning about forgiveness nataka kuongea adhuri aleo kuhusu kumsama I know the testimonies that we have heard. The families that have been together up to date. The generations and the ages that we have been given. Have been able to stand together because of this one element called forgiveness. Peter is having the same experience here. Peter anapitia hali kama hiyo hapa with his brother na ndugu zake and he is asking a question na anauliza swali Jesus what do i do Yesu mimi nitafanya nini when someone has been wronging me kama mtu amekuwa akinikosea i have forgiven him the first time I have forgiven him the second time. I have forgiven him the third time. Even up to the perfect number seven. What, what do I do thereafter? What do I do to him thereafter? He was told forgive. And not seven times. It is 70 times 7. Saba mara saba. Brethren, we have been called to forgive. We have been called as believers to forgive. But someone is saying that you don't know, Pastor, what I have gone through. You don't know what he did to me. You don't know why I am like this. It is because of him. It is because of her. It is because of them. That is why I am like this. My career was ruined. My business was ruined. 
My provision was ruined. My children were ruined. Just because of that man. Just because of that person. And you there tell me I forgive him. You there tell me I should forgive him. I will not. I am telling you. That it was the same situation that Peter was in. Peter and he came to realize that forgiveness is not necessarily about the person who wronged you. It is not about the person who has done any evil to you. It is for your own. It is for your own. As a believer in Christ Jesus, we have been called to forgive. We have been called to forgive. And I want to share with you why you should forgive. Why is it important to you as a believer to forgive? Why should you take that step to forgive? Why is forgiveness such an important virtue of a believer? Why is it so important to you. One. You are a Christian. We we ni Christo. A follower of our Lord Christ Jesus. Fuazi wa Yesu Christo. And Christ Jesus. Na Christo Yesu is the one whom we are emulating. Ni yeye ndio tunafuata mfano yake. Is the one whom we are following his footsteps. Tunafuata hatua zake. And he did forgiveness right on the cross. And that is why we have all been forgiven. We have been forgiven unconditionally. We have been forgiven without being marked right and wrong. The Bible says if you confess by your mouth and you believe in your heart that Christ Jesus died and he resurrected that is forgiveness done you have been forgiven. That is in the book of Romans chapter number 10 verses 9. If you, if, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from death you are forgiven and saved. Therefore as believers we have been forgiven unconditionally. We were not asked where we come from. We were not asked the color of our skin. Even the way we were appearing. Our previous history may not have favored us. But Christ Jesus forgave us. And therefore we should emulate what he did. By forgiving each other. By releasing that which you have in your heart. By releasing that person whom you are holding. In the name of our Lord Christ Jesus. The Bible talks about what Christ Jesus went through. Just for your sake alone. In the book of Isaiah, the old chapter 59. 53. 53. 53, chapter number 53. He's talking about what Christ Jesus went through for your sake and my sake. And therefore, we have been called to also forgive. We have been called to emulate. We have been called to do that which our Lord Christ Jesus did. And that is why Paul wrote to several churches. Paul akiandikia makanisa mengi. He wrote about this aspect called forgiveness. Akaongea kuhusu hii hali ya msamaha. And he wrote the book he wrote to the church in Colossia. Akaandia kanisa moja ya Kolosai. He also wrote the church in Ephesians. Na kanisa ingine ya Waefeso. And he wrote to the church 
in Rome. But when in other words, lingine, as the church, kama kanisa, this is our co-calling. This is our faju. This is what is expected of us. Bear with each other. Bear with each other. Fumilianeni. Forgive each other. Musameane. As a family. Kama familia. As a church. Kama kanisa. As a fellowship. Kama ushirika. As 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 brethren. Kama waze. Because this is what Christ Jesus shown us. Even though Jesus Christ has shown us. The Bible says. Biblia kaendelea kusema. In the book of Revelations. Katika kitabu cha Waefeso. Be kind to one another. Ukuwe mwenye huruma kwa wengine. Therefore, kwa hivyo, forgiveness kusameana is our lifestyle. Ni, ni mtindo wa maisha yetu. It is a lifestyle of a believer. Yaani Mkristo mtindo wa maisha yake ni kusamee. That is why people will catch us. Watu wengi watatuchukulia kwa ratili fulani. On this element. Kupitia hii mambo ya msamaha. Ya kwamba because so and so is a Christian. Kwa sababu huyu fulani ni Mkristo. I believe he is also forgiving. Lazima pia yeye ako na msamaha. And therefore, na kwa hivyo, it is our calling. Ni mwito wetu. Number that is number 1. Yoni ya kwanza. That we need to follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ya kwamba inatupata tumfuate mtindo wa Yesu Kristo. Number 2. Ya pili. When you forgive, tunaposameana. The Bible says. Biblia ikasema hivi. When you go to pray, Yaani ukisameana wakati unaenda chumba chako cha kuomba when you want to give a sacrifice unataka kutoa dhabihu fulani wanting that god looks at first kitu ya kwanza mungu anaangalia is the status of your heart hali ya moyo wako iko namna gani and in most cases in this element called forgiveness na mara nyingi na watu wengi ni hali ya kusamee let us read the book of mark chapter number 11 verses 25 Hebu angalia Marko 11 mstari wa 25. Biblia ikasema hivi. And wherever you stand. Biblia ikasema hivi kwa 25. Nanyi kila msimamapo. If you have anything against anyone. Na kusali sa, ka, kama una jambo kuhusu mtu fulani. Forgive him. Msamee. That your father in heaven ili baba yenu aliye binguni may also forgive you atawasame ninyi makosa yenu preterens wapendwa this element of forgiveness i hali ya kusamee asaki to your breakthrough ni ufunguo wa kufungua hali unaotaka even when you are praying hata wakati unaomba even when you are making a sacrifice wakati unataka kutoa dhabihu fulani The Bible says Biblia ikasema hivi wherever you stand mahali utasimama hivi and you realize na ukagundua that you have something that you have not done kuna kitu ambao sijafanya please tafadhali release or forgive that person achilia na usamee huyo mtu let me tell you wacha niwaambie Reverend can come here to lay hands on you. Kasisi atakuja hapa aweke juu ya kichwa yako mkono. On Monday and throughout the week. Jumatatu mpaka ifike Jumamosi. But in this particular state of your heart, katika hii hali ya moyo wako, it prevents that breakthrough. Inazuia hiyo mpenyo. It does not give you that breakthrough in your prayer. Haikupea hiyo ushindi ama kupenya kwa maombi yako. Because of that lack of forgiveness. Kwa sababu kuna kitu umekosa kufanya kusamehe. That is how serious it is. Hivyo ndio hile iliko izito wake. Forgiveness kusameana will make your prayers acceptable. Itafanya maombi yako ipite. Will make your prayers answered. Itafanya maombi yako ijibiwe. Look at what the, the book of Mark is saying. Sikia katika kitabu cha Mathayo. The book of the book of Matthew sorry, the book of Matthew. Matthew hebu sikia vile inasema. In the book of Matthew chapter number 5. Mathayo 5. The Bible say. Biblia ikasema hivi. Therefore if you bring your gift to the altar. Basi ukileta sadaka yako madhabahuni. And there Remember that your brother has something against you. Na huku ukikumbuka ya kuwa ndugu yako ana neno juu yako. Leave that gift. 
There before the altar Bele and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother Upatane kwanza na ndugu yako. and come to offer your gift. Kisha urudi uto ile sadaka yako. Brethrens, wapendwa. This is Christ Jesus is speaking. Uyu ni mkristo mwenye, uyu ni kristo anaongea. And he is saying if it happen akasema ikifika mahali fulani that you have any issue as you are offering your gift. Kama kuna kitu ndani yako na unataka you kutoa sadaka. You brought your sacrifice. Umeleta sadaka yako hapa. And you want the sacrifice to be accepted. Na unataka hii sadaka ikubalike. And you realize that you have something that you have not reconciled with your brother. Na unagundua kuna kitu hatujapatana na ndugu yangu. Fast ya kwanza go and reconcile rudi ukapatane na yeye go and reconcile enda upatane na yeye go and reconcile rudi upatane na yeye that is how serious it is hiyo ndio uzito wa hii kusamea this morning in the name of jesus in this morning in the name of jesus adhuri ya leo katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus naomba katika jina la yesu god will help us to understand this particular attribute of a believer. Ya kwamba Mungu atusaidie tuelewe hii msimamo wa msame. Tabia nzuri wa chungaji wa shiriki. This virtue of a Christian. Matendo ya Mkristo. And I want to give you a very good example here. Wacha nikupe mfano hapa. When you look at the book of Genesis. Ukiangalia kitabu cha mwanzo. You know very well about the differences between Jacob and Esau. Unajua kulikuwa na tofauti kati ya Ayubu na Esau. And therefore they parted their ways. Kila mtu akaenda njia zake. And when they parted their ways. Kila mtu alipoenda njia zake, Jacob went to Laban. Yakobo alienda kwa mjomba wake Laban. He stayed in Laban's place. Akakaa kwa mjomba wake Laban. For a while. Kwa muda. And when he came back wakati alipokuwa anarudi when he came back in the uh, from chapter number 32 kutoka sura ya 32 wakati yakoba anarudi you hear him praying unamsikia akiomba in chapter number 32 katika sura ya 32 and he is praying a specific prayer na naomba maombi fulani he is telling god anamwambia hivi mungu to bless him nibariki he is telling god to bless him mungu nibariki And when you hear about what happened there after ukisikia chenye ilifanyika baadaye wrestling with the angel akapambana na malaika his name change na jina lake likabadilishwa from Jacob to Israel kutoka Yakobo mpaka Israeli but the blessing that he was desiring lakini ile 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 sala alikuwa anataka ijibiwe to be blessed ile baraka alikuwa anataka abarikiwe did not happen during that chapter haikufanyika kwa hiyo sura when you get to chapter number 33 ukifika sura ya 33 verse number 3 and 4 kuanzia tatu hapo na uende mbele you hear him embracing his brother Esau yeye utamsikia akimuita ndugu yake Esau. And he is weeping with him. Wanalia pamoja na Esau. And forgiveness took place that time. Na kusameana ilitendeka. And there after that forgiveness. Baada ya hiyo kusameana. Look at what the Bible says. Then he crossed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. First number 4 says but Esau ran to meet him and embrace him and fell on his neck and kissed him and he wept Esau akaja mbio kumlaki akamkumbatia na kumwangukia shingoni akambusi nao wakalia when they wept wakalia pamoja in first in chapter number 33 kwa mstari wa 34 look at what happened in chapter number 35 Angalia tuangalie mstari wa sura ya 35 in Genesis chapter number 35 Mwanzo 35 He makes another prayer again Kuna umbi nyingine tena alifanya Then the Lord appeared to Jacob again Mungu akamtokea Yakobo tena And he came from Badam Aliporudi kutoka Badam Aramu and, and bless him Akambariki Preference after forgiveness baada ya kusameana whatever that he was desiring in his life kila alikuwa anatamani moyoni mwake it happened ikatendeka the prayer was answered maombi kajibiwa he was blessed alibarikiwa in first number in in, in from when in 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 first number 10 11 12 you hear about the blessings that god declared over him kama mko 11 11 utasikia yale maombi Yakovo alitangaza juu yake. You see 
and God said to him, your name is Jacob. Your name shall no longer be, uh, your name shall not be called Jacob anymore, but Israel shall be your name. So you call him Israel. First number 11 and 12. You'll see, and God said to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall proceed from you and kings shall come from your body. Hallelujah. Maumbia yote mungu alimuachilia mbaka yakofo akafikia kiwango wakati alipoitua Israeli. Wakapatia maali pake is, mungu is, aliposema. It is showing us ya tuwanyeshe ya kwamba that when forgiveness proceeded yani msamaha ikitangulia in chapter number 33 katika sura ya 33 Five is giving us evidence. Talatina tano inatupatia ushahidi. What happened? Ya yale alitendeka. Could forgiveness be standing between you and your destiny? Hali yako, hatima ya maisha yako, could na kusameana iko pamoja. If you release that post today from that pain that you are having. Ukitoa huyo mtu kutoka kwa hiyo uchungu uko nayo. Could it be you are beginning of breakthrough? Inaweza kuwa ni mwanzo wako wa ushindi. Your elevation kuinuliwa promotion kuinuliwa expansion of your territory kupanuliwa kwa makao yako forgiveness is so powerful kusameana ni nguvu sana it can decide your destiny inaamua hatima yako if you do not release usipoachilia you are holding your destiny unashika hatima ya maisha yako you are next you are holding your next level of your life kiwango kingine ya maisha yako wewe ndio umeishikilia that is why the bible is saying if you happen to stand Ndiposa Biblia akasema ukisimama and you pray na unaomba and you realize that there is something you are holding na unasikia ndani yako kuna kitu nimeshika release that particular achilia hiyo jambo release that particular achilia issue achilia hiyo jambo release that person achilia huyo mtu can i tell you what wacha niwaambie kitu for your information wacha niwajulishe kitu there is no perfect pass hakuna mtu ambaye amekamilika If you are expecting a perfect neighbor kama unatarajia jirani ambaye yako kamilifu I am here to tell you that you, when you get that perfect neighbor please come and show me ukienda umpate hiyo jirani amekamilika I, I, I am still looking for that perfect pass mimi bado natafuta mtu ambaye amekamilika I am still looking for that perfect Lita. Natafuta kiongozi ambaye amekamilika. I am still looking for that perfect manager. Natafuta mkurugenzi ambaye amekamilika. I am still looking for that perfect spouse. Mimi natafuta bwana na bibi ambao wamekamilika. I am still looking for that perfect parent. Huyo mzazi ambaye yako mkamilifu. We are all by the grace of God. Sisi ni kwa neema tu ya Mungu. We are who we are by the grace of God. Tuko vile tuko kwa neema. Look at the example of Noah. Hebu angalia Noah. Noah is receiving favor. Noah anapata kibali. In the book of Genesis chapter number 6. Mwanzo 6. First number 8. Kupitia kufika mstari wa 8. You hear that in his generation. Unasikia katika hii kisasi. He was the only man. Alikuwa ni wewe peke yake. He had righteous before God. Ambaye alipata kibali machoni pa Bwana. God accepted to use him ambao Mungu alikubali kumtumikia katika kudenga no, agano na baadaye when he came out of the ark alipotoka kwa ile ile meli yake and he began eating na kaanza kukula mema ya inji the, <laughs> mazuri ya inji <laughs> you hear about him Unaanza anatembea uchi. And you realize that the three sons. Na unakuta wale vijana wake watatu. Realize that kumbe our father is not as perfect as we expect. Kasema kumbe huyu Buda sio kamili vile tulikuwa tunajua. Brethren, the main challenge that we have. Changamoto tuliyo na wa ndugu. We are holding men and women. Tunashika waume na wake. And expecting them on a certain level. Na tunataka wakue kiwango fulani. On our own perception. Katika ile mafikira zetu by the grace of God ni kwa neema ya Mungu if you would realize this ukigundua hii then you will forgive utasamee you will forgive even the one who stole your car utasamee yule ataliba gari yako you will even forgive the one who has infringed into your privacy yule ambaye amekuja kwa siri zako na akajua utamshamee you will forgive 
Utamsamee. You will forgive. Utamsamee. Because of your prayers. Kwa sababu ya maombi yako. Because of your sacrifice to be accepted. Kwa sababu nataka hizo bi umetoka ikubalike na Mungu. Please forgive. Tafadhali samee. If you forgive you will be forgiven. Ukisamee utasamewa. But you you don't know what he did to me. <laughs> I want to teach him a lesson. You know, I want I want the rule of law to <laughs> <laughs> You know, at least he can, you know we put terms and say unless a reconciliation commission is formed unless it is led by so and so you know that person is full of himself he's not even remorseful he, 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 he has not even shown any signs so how do you forgive such a person it is not about him it is not about her Sio yeye. Ni wewe kibinafsi. I want to release that person. Nataka umwachilie huyo mtu. It has, it, it, you don't need to reach consensus. Hakuna haja ya kufikia mapatano. You don't need to agree that we have forgiven each other. Kwa sababu hii tumesameana. Just release. Achilia. Release. Wewe achilia. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Samea na utasamewa. Why do I say so? Kwa nini nasema hivyo? Whereas as you are holding kile unachoshika as you are imagining that person has to be taught a lesson unashikilia na kusema lazima nimfundishe kitu you are taking the position of god wewe unachukua mahali ya mungu you are taking the position of the creator yani unachukua mahali pa yule aliyekuumba vengeance does not belong to us Kulipisa kisasi sio yetu. Kulipisa kisasi sio yako. It is not your role. Sio jukumu lako. You can imagine you want to pick you want to take up a responsibility that does not belong to you. Wewe unachukua kazi ambayo sio yako. You want to take a role that does not belong to you. Unachukua jukumu ambalo sio lako. That role belongs to God. Hiyo jukumu ni la Mungu. Vengeance belongs to God. Kulipiza kisasi ni ya Mungu. Vengeance belongs to God. Kulipiza kisasi ni ya Mungu. That is point number 3. Wacha niende hatua ya tatu. Vengeance belongs to God. Kulipiza kisasi waachia Mungu. Don't revenge. Usianze kusema mimi ndio dafanya. No, it is not your responsibility. Hiyo sio jambo lako. It is not you to do it. Sio wewe kulipiza. As a believer, kama muaminiwa. Who has been set by the grace of God? Ambao umeokolewa kwa neema ya Mungu. Who has been set free? Ambao umefunguliwa. Who has been forgiven of his sins? Ambaye amesamewa dhambi zake. Who has just to release to God? Achilia hiyo kwa Mungu. And this is what the Bible says. Biblia ikasema hivi. In the book of Romans chapter number 12. Warumi 12 in the book of Romans chapter number 12 Warumi 12 the bible says Biblia look, ikasema hivi look at what the bible say Hebu sikia vile Biblia inasema as inasem. a believer in Christ Jesus kama as a born again kama Christ. mtu mwenye amesaliwa mara ya pili what does the bible say Biblia nini repay no one evil for an evil msilipe mtu ofu kwa ofu have regard for good things in the sight of all men Angalieni yaliyo mema machoni pa watu wote. Verse number 18. 18. If it is possible, kama yamkini, as much as it depends on you, kwa upendo wenu, live peaceably with all men. Mkae katika amani na watu wote. Verse number 19 says, 19. Beloved, wapendwa, do not avenge yourself. Msilipize kisasi. But rather give place to rat. Bali ipisheni ghadhabu ya Mungu. It is written. Maana imeandikwa. Vengeance is mine. Kisasi ni juu yangu. I will repay says the Lord. Mimi nitalipa anena Bwana. As followers of our Lord Christ Jesus. Kama wafuasi wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. We have been called not to repay to make an evil to for evil sio kulipisa uofu kwa uofu an eye for an eye jicho kwa jicho an ear for an ear sikio kwa sikio i am told naambiwa hivi someone said mtu mmoja akasema a society where we are revenging evil for an evil kama jamii ambayo tunalipiza kisasi kwa an kisasi an eye for an eye jicho kwa jicho soon that society will be blind hiyo hiyo jamii itakuwa wapofu wote because you are actually doing 
revenge for revenge kwa sababu unalipiza kwa kulipiza we have a reason not to do that tuko na sababu tusitende hayo we have a reason not to do that tuko na sababu tusifanye hayo in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu that god will help us na mungu atatusaidia haya may not be favorable may not be favoring us wakati mwingine mambo hayendi vile tunataka we may not be able to share in detail this vengeance ikulipiza kizazi atuweze eleza kwa urefu but i want to share with you a brief story nataka niwaeleze aditi fulani i i know you all know about king david najua nyote tunajua kuhusu mfalme daudi king david after he, he killed goliath mfalme daudi alipoua goliath in the book of first samuel chapter number 17 samuel wa kwanza sura ya 17 and the israelites were coming back na ana israel sasa walikuwa wanarudi the, the, the army of the lord jeshi la bwana were coming back wanarudi celebrating wakisherekea the victory that david had brought to the israelites ushindi ambao bwana alikuwa ameopatia israeli the bible says in the chapter number 18 Biblia ikasema katika sura em, sura ya 18 women were dancing wa mama walikuwa wanasherekea wakiimba and they were saying na walikuwa wanasema hivi Saul has killed thousands Sauli ameua elfu but king David has killed 10000 lakini Daudi ameua elfu ya kumi, elfu kumi. tens of thousands ma elfu ya kumi. what is remaining for him sasa nini imebaki sasa? It was just the kingdom. Sauli akasema huyu anaenda kuchukua ufalme. And he developed some bitterness. Na sira fulani kamuingia. And if you read the story thereafter. Ukisoma hiyo hadithi yote vile inaenda. David did not occupy the throne. Daudi hakuchukua hiyo kiti ya mamlaka. But he, this, he, he began staying in the wilderness. Daudi alirudi akakaa jangwani. Because King Saul was after his heart. Maana Sauli alikuwa anamfukuza anataka kumuua. But on several on two occasions, kwa mara mbili, he got an opportunity to revenge and kill Saul. Alikupata nafasi ya kulipiza kizazi na kumuua Sauli. But he said that you not the anointed one. Akasema sitaguza mpa kwa mafuta. Words, he said no I will not touch him. Kwa neno nyingine akasema sitamguza. But look at what happens in the beginning of 2 uh, Samuel chapter number 1. Ukisoma Samuel wa pili sura ya kwanza. When eventually Saul was killed. Saul alienda vita akawawa. Not through David. Na sio Daudi ndio alimua. There was a young man who came bringing the breaking news. Kuna kijana alikuwa analeta habari mbaya kwa Saul amewawa. The killing of Saul. Ya vile Saul amewawa. And he was taking to David because he knew the challenges the relationship they were up with David. Na akakimbiza hiyo habari kumpelekea Daudi. And Daudi told him. David akamwambia hivi. When he saw that Amalek a young man. Yule Amalaki kijana mdogo. Betoling souls that news. Akileta habari mbaya. Breaking news. Zile habari za kuzunisha. He did not celebrate. Akusherekea Daudi akusherekea. If, if, if today that enemy of yours passes on tuseme ukweli huyu adui wako wa leo ukisikia habari yake ameenda utasema sasa wacha tukule you will say sasa bring the wacha sasa tushereke twende sherehe wacha tupige sherehe mm. will you be at that level imagine somebody who has been all along looking for an opportunity to kill you hebu fikiria huyu mtu amekutafuta nafasi ya kukuua and god gave you two chances to kill him na mungu alikuwa amekupia nafasi mbili ya kumuua but you, you did not touch na akumguza but when that uh, that time came for him to die wakati ilipofika yule Sauli akufe he did not celebrate hata hakuna sherehe alifanya he did not celebrate akusherekea instead what Daudi did is what i am still waiting kile Daudi alifanya ni bado na ngoja instead he killed he said that young man to be killed yani huyu kijana mwenye alileta hiyo habari alitumana Daudi akasema ua huyu and then he torn his clothes akararua mavazi yake he torn his clothes akararua mavazi yake about soul 
kuhusu Sauli because he understood vengeance was not his maana aligundua kulipisa kisasi sio yake because he understood that vengeance was not his alielewa kufulipisa kisasi sio yake realized that it was not his responsibility aligundua hiyo sio kazi yangu it is a high level of expectation hiyo ni kiwango ya juu ya kutarajia us as believers na sisi waaminio that preference this is one do we need to leave that responsibility to god in abidi tuachilie hiyo jukumu kwa mungu in other words this is what daudi did kwa mfu kwa ufupi daudi alifanya hivi he managed to kill a physical giant aliweza kuua jitu ambaye kwa wa kimwili the one that everybody could see with naked eyes jitu ambaye kila mtu angemuona kwa macho yake the one called goliath ambaye alikuwa anaitwa goliath everybody was able to see kila mtu aliona huo jitu but inside him again lakini ndani yake tena inside his heart again ndani ya roho yake he also managed to kill another giant akaua jitu mwingine giant of bitterness jitu wa chuki the giant of anger chuki yani na asira the giant of, repe- of, 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 of revenge jitu wa kulipiza kisasi you can kill the physical giants unaweza ua jitu ambaye anaonekana but my challenge to you as a believer today changamoto kwangu wewe mwaminio the internal one na ule jitu wa ndani the one that is inside us ambaye anaishi ndani yetu may god help us beloved brethren wapendwa mungu atusaidie you my sister dada yangu mungu akusaidie me also na mungu anisaidie pia i overcome ili nishinde and get to this point na nifikie hali my life as a believer kama mwaminio i will live the ambapo nitaishi god to be done ninaishi kuachia mungu afanye kazi yake the bible say biblia ikasema when christ jesus was being crucified wakati kristo alipostundikwa msalabani when he had not done any evil aku amefanya kitendo kibaya the men were crucifying him wale waume walikuwa wanamsulubisha he made a powerful statement kuna neno la nguvu alisema. He made a profound statement. Neno ambalo linaduma ambalo alisema. And he said, na akasema hivi. Father, Baba, forgive them. Wasamee. For they do not know what they are. Maana hawajui wanalofanya. Father, forgive them. Baba, wasamee. Father, forgive them. Baba, wasamee. For they do not know what they are doing. Maana hawajui kile wanachofanya. This is the highest level of forgiveness. Wapendwa hii ni kiwango ya juu ya kusamehe. I set before us. Na yani Bwana amenena mbele yetu. The people who were crucifying him had not come to seek his forgiveness. Yani wale watu walikuwa wanamsulubisha hata hawakumuomba msamaha. The kind of accusation that you, they were holding against him. Yale lawama ambao walikuwa wameweka juu yake. Were not true. Hata moja hakuna ilikuwa ya ukweli. There were nothing that was held against him. Hakuna kosa moja ambayo ilimfanya aende msalabani. Accusation. Ni kumlaumu tu. Framing after framing. Ile ya kuunda tu na kuunda. Story after story. Maekaya baada ya ekaya. And eventually he said. Na mara ya mwisho akasema hivi. God. Mungu. Father forgive them. Baba wasamee. Because kwa sababu they did not know what they are doing. Hawajui wanalofanya. That is the kind of calling we have been called into. Hiyo ndio mwito tumeitwa. As a believer, kama muaminio. You have been called to forgive. Umeitwa kusamehana. You have been called to release. Umeitwa kuachilia. Tumeitwa kuwafungua katika jina la Yesu. It is not about them coming to you. Sio kule wakuje kwako. Sio mali kukosea kupigia magoti. It is not them coming to seek forgiveness. Sio wakuja wakuombe msamaha. You in your heart. Wewe katika moyo wako. Releasing. Achilia. Saying father. Na ukisema baba. Forgive them. Wasamee. They testify against me. Wamenishuhudia uongo. But I have forgiven them. Lakini nimewasamee. They plan against me. Wameni pangia lakini nimewasamee. They 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 instill stories about me but I have forgiven them. Wameni pangia wakasema hadithi oh, tulisamee. Oh I have them. Oh nimewasamee. That is the calling that we have been called into. Yote mwito tumeitiwa. In the name of our Lord Christ. Katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. I 
highest expectation. Hiyo ni matumaini ya juu. Yaani tunatarajiwa tukue katika hiyo kiwango. That is why you will be able to move from one step of glory to another. Ili upate kutembea kutoka so utukufu moja hadi nyingine. This by forgiveness. Ni kupitia kusameana. Even in the families. Hata katika familia. Even among the children. Hata katika watoto. They will not do what you expect them to do. Watafanya vile umewapangia wafanye. Given a very good example about the protocol son. Tumeonyeshwa kuhusu mwana mpotevu asubuhi. He came back. Yeye alirudi. The father embraced him. Baba alifungua mikono na kumkaribisha. And he forgave him. Na akamsamee. That is the expectation. Hiyo ndio inatunatarajiwa. That is what God expects from us. Mungu anangoja kama hiyo kwetu. Oh my God help me to be a forgiver. Bwana Grant me this grace. Oh Jehovah. In the mighty name of our Lord Christ Jesus. Number 4. Yanne. Do you know forgiveness is for your own benefit? Unajua faida ina ya kusameana ni yako. This this one I may not be prof- professionally qualified to give you the details of the medical part of it. Kwa mambo ya hospitali sijaitimu kueleza faida but I am told. Lakini naambiwa hivi. My brother here Tony can confirm. And my brother here Daktari Oiti can confirm. That the people who do not actually forgive. Yaani wale watu ambao wanashikilia wengine wasamei. I am told. Naambiwa hivi. They are ever gloomy. Sura yao inakaa kukunjika. Ni kama wamemwakiwa ndimu. Ni kama wameshika ndimu na kufinyilia hivi chuchu. And I am told the effects of that. Na unajua madhara ya hiyo. You will be under depression. Wewe utapimwa pressure saa hii. You will be having your ulcers. Eh maugonjwa ya tumbo tayari, mavidonda. Because when you see that person passing, unajua ukiona ule mtu mjamsamea akipita hivi, your pressure goes up. Ile pressure yako inapiga juu. Because you have not released maana bado kuna mali amekaa ndani yako. You have not forgiven. Yaani hujamshamea. And do you know what? Mimi unajua nini? When you are holding that bitterness and anger in you. Tuseme unashikilia hiyo hasira na chuki. It is like doing this. Ni kama kufanya hivi. You are taking some poison. Kuna sumu fulani umeshika. You have taken that poison. Hii ni sumu unashikilia na unakunywa. And after you have taken that poison, ukisha kunywa hiyo sumu, you expect someone else. Yaani sumu umekunywa unatarajia mtu fulani akufe. Akufe. To be affected by what you have taken. Yaani hii kitu itamua. It is like you are the one you are taking poison comfortably. Yaani unakula sumu vizuri and waiting for it to affect that person. Na unataka madhara ya hii kitu shike ule mtu it is dangerous to all bitterness ni hatari kuwa na chuki it is dangerous to all anger ni hatari kuwa na hasira it can lead to depression inaweza kufanya hali yako ya maisha ikuje chini forgiveness is more powerful than revenge msamaa ni faida juu kuliko kulipiza can we read what first peter is saying petero wa kwanza anasema nini first peter chapter number 3 wa Petero wa kwanza mstari wa From verse number 8. And this is the final comment I am making. Ini <laughs> so, natoa ya mwisho. Be patient a little bit. The Bible says, "Finally." Neno la mwisho. All of you be of one mind. Neno la mwisho. Having compassion for one another. Love as brothers and be tender at added be courteous. Neno la let, let me read in English not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling but on contrary blessing knowing that you are called to this that you may inherit a blessing for he who would love life and see good days <laughs> let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit in another fashion it says kwa, let me re, let me reframe it this way wacha nieleze tuelewe hivi you can go and read in another fashion the bible says biblia inasema hivi if you want to have 
If you want to have a long life. Yaani wewe ni mtu unatamani kuishi miaka mingi. See that is your life. Sio ni maisha yako. If you want to have a long life. Yaani unatamani niishi miaka. You want to be among the people who can stand like Anna sang. Uwe kama wale watu ambao kama yule Anna alisimama. Anna Anna sang. Kama mama mwenye alisimama peke yake kwa hii kundi lote. Release that bitterness and anger. Hebu toa hasira na chuki. In your own life. Katika maisha yako. It can add you long days. Ina itakuongezea miaka mingi. And even the joy. Na hata furaha. You can have. He who loves life and and and, and see good days. Let him refrain from thank of evil and his lips from speaking this thing. Long life, blessings and enjoying of life will come as you forgive, as you release from your heart in the name of our Lord Christ. Maisha marefu na nafura itakuja wakati unachilia kwa moyo wako. Are you in that position this morning? Adhuri uko katika hiyo hali. Are you in this in that position this afternoon? Adhuri uko katika hiyo hali ya kutaka tayari kusomea. I have held for long. Ya kwamba nimeshikilia kwa miaka mingi. I have held for long this. Nimeshikilia hii kitu huyu mtu kwa miaka. The Bible talks about you know love covers multitude. Biblia ikasema upende usitiri dhambi nyingi. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. Wa Korintho wa kwanza sura ya 13. The love of God that was bestowed upon Jesus. Upende wa Yesu ya Mungu ambao iliwekwa juu ya Kristo. Ask made as we are today. It is true forgiveness that we can stand before the Lord this morning. It is true the forgiveness that we receive by the death of His Son. May God help us, O Lord. May God help us. Mungu atusaidie. To operate under this grace. Kuishi katika hii neema. Irrespective of what we go through in this life. Ya kwamba haijalishi hali nitapitia. We be forgiving. Nitakuwa wa kusamehe. We be releasing. Nitakuwa naachilia. We be setting free. Nitakuwa naofungua. We be not holding. Sitashika mtu. The Bible says. Biblia ikasema hivi. Love does not keep records. Yaani Biblia haiweki hesabu. Love, love of love does not keep records. Biblia aiweki yale ratiba ya hisabu hivi na hivi. You are giving records for when you were in primary school. Ukiwa shule ya msingi kuna mali. You are giving records when you were in high school. Ukiwa shule ya pili kuna mali story yako iliwekwa. You are keeping records when you were in college. Bado unaweka rekodi ama ile story ya ndani yako. Release this afternoon in the name of Jesus. May God help us so that we are forgiving. Forgiveness is more powerful than revenge. That is why Joseph, when he met with his brothers, Yusufu alipokutana na ndugu zake. When he met with his brothers after several years, he embraced them. Akawakumbatia. Akawambia. We mulikuwa mna nitarajia mabaya. Mulipangia mabaya lakini munga kabadlisha ikwene. Akawakumbatia. Is the respective of them selling him to be a slave. Irrespective of them mistreating him. He forgave them. So are we been called today in the name of Jesus? We have been called to forgive. Christianity is all about that virtue. That is why Emmanuel is sang and he said, Amen, Sami. Muinbaji moja na ito imachicha kaimba kase. Amen, Sami. Amen, Sami. You know, I I have been forgiven. I have been forgiven. So are you? Are you in this meeting? And you are saying you want also you want God to forgive you of your sins. First forgiveness begins by you being forgiven your sins. That is the genesis of forgiveness. That is the origin of forgiveness. You being forgiven your sins. You being set free. Thereafter. 
You can now be able to exercise that grace. Sasa hiyo neema ya kushamiana utaweza tumikia. You will be able to exercise that forgiveness. Unaweza tumika sasa. In your life. Katika maisha yako. In your daily life situation. Katika maisha yetu ya kawaida. You will be able to give that which you have been given. Wewe utatoa ile umepewa. And you will be able to give freely. Na utapeana bure. Because you have also been forgiven and Mana given freely. Ulipata bure. You have been given freely therefore you will be able to give freely. Umepewa bure kwa hivyo unaweza peana bure. In this meeting and you are saying God remember me. Uko hii mkutano unasema Mungu nikumbuke. God remember me. Mungu nikumbuke. Nisamee. Mimi ni mmoja wa wale unaoangojea. I desire that you forgive me today. Natamani unisamee leo. I desire that you forgive me today. Natamani unisamee leo. That is how forgiveness will begin. Hivyo ndio kusameana itaanza. I want you to soul sight this afternoon. God, I have held it for long. I have held it for long. I want to release today. I want to forgive today. I want this to be history. I want this to go in the name of Jesus. Are you in this? As I call our team of praise and worship, soul such, oh, as I say now, akusame amen same see it is not by anything else that is how forgiveness will begin that's how you will not struggle you will not struggle yani once you have been forgiven Kama once you receive that grace, you will not struggle forgiving Auta, because you will kusamea. remember that even during your time Una you were forgiven you will, you, will you will not struggle Auta, you will Auta, not ngana. struggle Auta, you will ngana. not struggle you will not struggle forgiving. Hautangangana kusameana. Forgiveness is a great calling unto us all. Kusameana ni mwito mkuu tumeitiwa. Amen same. He has forgiven me. The reason why we are all here under this roof today is because of that forgiveness. Tuko chini ya hii mahali maana tumesamewa. The reason why we have all have confidence to go before the Lord. It's because we were forgiven. Ni kwa sababu tulisamewa. It's because God help us. Mungu alitusaidia. He forgave us. Alitusamee. He made a way for us to be forgiven. Alitengeneza njia tusamewe. His own grace. By, by his own grace ni kwa neema yake amen same amen same amen same katika jina la yesu amen same katika jina la yesu amen same Oh, ameni same, ameni same, ameni same jamani. Yeah, Yesu, katika jina la Yesu, ameni same. Katika, katika jina la Yesu, ameni same, ameni same, ameni same, ameni same jamani. and you are saying lord oh no, God, no, i didn't know that i am carrying a burden that you took it on the cross i didn't know that you paid on my behalf I will be speaking and you are saying lord oh, i am forgiven bwana nachagua kusamea i know he was not fair but i have forgiven you know that's what jacob said he Jacob, said about Laban, you know, even it was not of the Lord. 
I know you meant evil. You wanted to reduce my wages ten times. I know you didn't even want me to go well, but I have forgiven you. Jacoba. I have released you, Lapan. I Jacoba what a powerful Jacoba. statement that he made. Release that person. Release. 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 Do not hold any grudge. Do not hold against that person. It is preventing you from your next level. Hey. Do not hold. Do not hold. Don't. Do not hold against that. Person. Release. Release. Yes, it is a fact. I am not belittling what they did. I am not underestimating the effects of what they did to you. But one thing that I am telling you, I am telling you, forgiveness is more powerful. Release that person. I know he, I know he called you. I know he misused you. I know they did something that are not speakable. But I pray in the name of Jesus. That you release that person. That you release that person. Release for God wants to do something in your life. Release that person. God is waiting for you to release. Mungu anangoja umwachilie. It is standing between you and your prayers. Yani huyo mtu amekaa katikati ya maombi yako na wewe. And your next destiny. Wewe na kile ingefuata kwa maisha yako. Between you and your next elevation. Kupitia cheo ungepata na huyo mtu ndio kusamehe baba. Take a personal time and say God I really. Chukua muda uambie Mungu naachilia. You know you understand it doesn't matter how long it has taken. Unaambia Mungu unaelewa. It doesn't matter it may be of centuries. Imechukua miaka fulani. It may be even your family against another family. Labda familia yangu na wengine. It may be between you and your clan. Wengine oh. wewe na uko yenu. You are standing in that cup today. Unasimama kwenye hiyo pengo leo. In the name of Jesus. Achilia katika jina la Yesu. Jesus did it for many. May you also do it today for the sake of your family. For the sake of your family. Kwa watoto wako na familia. Stand and release. You know, you know the story but tell God because I am here today I am kwa sababu niko hapa leo and I am releasing in the name of Jesus on behalf of our Yesu. family on behalf of my parents on behalf of my siblings we are releasing that person we know he took our land we know by forceful and by pretense he corners but we are releasing him we are releasing him. Him. We are releasing him in the name of our Lord Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord. Baba na kushukuru bwana. Father, I bless your name. Na ibariki jina lako. I ask that you heal the hearts of men. Naomba ukafike mioyo ya wanadamu. You understand the situation and the challenges that they have gone through. Unaelewa hali na changamoto wamepitia. You understand the pain that they have gone through. You understand the experience that they have gone through. You know their sleepless nights, O Lord. You have seen their tears, O God. Indeed, it is painful. But it is only you who can heal such pain. It is only you who can transform that situation, oh Lord. God, as you have told us today, that Lord, we have been called to forgive. We therefore release our adversaries, oh Lord. We release our so-called enemies. We release those who have transfers against us. As we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you also forgive us our trespasses, O oh Lord. As we forgive those who trespass against us, O oh Lord. His forgiveness, Lord, is a key to our destinies. Is our key to our breakthroughs, O oh Lord. So that our prayers will be accepted before you. So that our gift and sacrifice will be accepted before you, Lord. 
We pray in the name of Jesus that you will speak and touch each and every one of us. That Lord, this shall be the beginning of that which you have purpose in us. We thank you and we bless your name. We give you praise, glory and honor. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen again. Thank you. Uh, I want to hand over to our father in the house, our lead pastor, so that he can come and summarize in the name of Jesus. Thank you and God bless you. forgive you. <laughs> um, that is a masterpiece piece of progress. One time I was leading a prayer meeting and then there was an impression in my heart that just tell the there, is, there was a just the way we can have a word of knowledge. So I said, There's a lady here, you have been holding people in your hand. Can you just release them? Just release them. And then that your prayer is answered, just release them. So on Monday she goes home. She writes the list of all the people that had offended her. And what? Then she toyed and said, I have forgiven you. That same evening on Tuesday, the following day, she gets a call from a friend. This friend of us tells her, I'm traveling to the US. I have no intentions of coming back. I have built this house in Ruiru somewhere. A four bedroom house. Magnificent. And I am not leaving it to any of my relatives. I want to give this house to you. Can you imagine what stood in between her? and home ownership is forgiveness. Forgiveness is such a powerful thing. And you acknowledge you acknowledge that the offender is actually living scot free but you you have the scars of the offense but as soon as you release then God lifts you in a way that you can't even explain yourself because unforgiveness is a weight thank you sir Asante sana. That was a masterpiece. Asante sana kwa siku hilo. I want us to give our offerings. Nataka tuweze kutoa sadaka zetu. And then we celebrate our men in a special way for what they have done today. Alafu kisha tutasherekea wanaume kwa kile ambao wamefanya. Amen. Amen. 4323254 is our till number. 4323254. It is our till number. Till number yetu. If you want to write a check write it to Deliverance Church Kericho. Kama unataka kuandika check andika kwa Deliverance Church Kericho. And then uh, we are going to receive a song. Na tutaenda kupokea wimbo. And then as we give let's give cheerfully like forgiven people. Na tunapotoa tafadhali tuweze kutoa kwa furaha kama wale watu ambao wamesamehewa. Amen. Amen. Jumbe wa bwana haleluya Amenena mwenyewe amenena mwenyewe haleluya Oh, oh, oh. 
We are in prayer Tuko katika maombi. from 5 to 6. Kutoka saa kumina moja, and, saa kumina and we will be praying on discernment. Amen. Amen. Are you here and you're not born again? Let me see by lifting up of your hand. You're Tafa here and you're not born again. Tafadhali nataka kuona tu kwa kuinua kwako mkono kama uko mahali hapa na ujaokoka. There anybody who is not born again? Je, kuna mtu yote ambao hajaokoka mahali hapa? Let's stretch our hands towards our offerings. Tuweze kunyoshia mikono yetu, matole yetu. Eternal Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Baba yetu wa milele, tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kutoka watu wako. I pray that you release a kind of a blessing that causes abundance. Naomba kwamba uweze kuachilia let every one of us walk under open heavens. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This Friday we have our Kesha. Kesha wetu. And it's going to be powerful. Let's meet here uh, on Friday. At 9:30 30 p.m. Amen. Amina. If you have time tomorrow morning 9 a.m. come let's wash the church. Kipata wakati kesho tutafadhali saa 3 asubuhi kujeni tuweze kuosha kanisa kwa pamoja. Amen. Amina. Um are you here for the first time? Je, uko mahali hapa na ni mara yako ya kwanza 
kuja mahali hapa let me see by lifting up of your hand hebu tunione mkono wako ukinua mkono wako juu i can see those your hands kama wewe ni mgeni tafadhali inua tu mkono wako naona mikono pale nyuma please carry your stuff and come i want to receive you officially tafadhali beba vitu vyako na uweze kuja hapa mbele tunataka kukupokea kirasmi we will not ask you to say anything hatuwezi kukuuliza useme jambo lolote we will receive you officially please come tutakupokea kirasmi Let's... Tuwa pigie makofi. Amenena mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Down here. Utaishi. Stretch your hands let's receive our visitors. Tuweze kuwanyoshia mikono tukipokea wageni wetu. Father we thank you for bringing us this special guest today. Baba asante kwa kutuletea watu wao maalum siku ya leo. We receive them in this house. Tunawapokea katika nyumba hii. With gratitude. Tukiwa na furai. Bless them in Jesus name. Wabariki katika jina la Yesu. To my left which is on your right we have our sister Faith. We have, we have said amen. Amen. To my right. Jangalia your... kushoto kwangu. <laughs> my left which is your right. That is Faith please follow her she'll tell you more about us please Tafadhali tumfuate Faith atawaambia mengi kutuhusu Amen Amina Shall we all be up standing Tafadhali tuweze kusimama I receive greetings from my wife Okay ni salamu kutoka kwa mke wangu She says hello Amesema ni wasalimie I will ask all the men ladies please be seated Nitauliza wanaume wote tafadhali kinadana tukiti chini Men, get if, kidogo. Kama wewe ndio uko na mtoto ama wewe ndio uko na mkoba. Let, let, let's Okay, men, let's say the words of the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and the love, love of God, God and, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit with us now and, and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Let's have all the men file out of the building. Tafadhali wanaume wote, tunaomba tafadhali tukaeondoke. The service is done wanaume let's let's file, let's file out <laughs> I want to ask all the ladies to please come close Nataka nikauliza wanadada wote tafadhali tusonge mbele Ladies please come close Kila dada wote tafadhali tusonge mbele Tazama Jesus Ladies please come close 